Are you playing taps right now for LP? That's the most BM <laughs> thing a TO has ever done in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we do feel bad. We all do feel bad. Bible thumps for LP, my friends. Bible thumps. But I mean, hey, uh, Denti moves on. He was the favorite there. And, uh... Looks like yeah, we're jumping in the, straight to grand finals here. Denti's coming in from losers finals, which is different from last week where uh, Denti's was a winners finals favorite. So this time now we have cheeks and winners here. So it is a rematch set from last week though. These guys are playing naked now. These guys are crazy, crazy good players. Yeah, it turns oh. out when you play the same guy in grands, like, you know, four tournaments in a row, <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little rough. It gets a little rough. So, yeah, just keeping stage control. I'm liking Denti's stage control better in this set than the winners final set. Um. I mean, he is losing neutral right now. Ooh, uh, okay. Okay. Side, he's making a bag. Yeah, she does have the uh, percent advantage currently here. That can easily change. Pikmin's rack up percent really fast. Ooh, charge the down smash. Catch him with the purple. Denti's mixing up his timings just a little bit here. Ooh, down to, and he did tech back. He almost got the reverse back here. Oh, cool. Okay, up okay. the blue Pikmin off of Falling Fair. Don't get purples at him, making sure his recovery is just a little bit better. Ooh, not dashing not right in. Cheeks is trying to use scare attacks and just sometimes play a crazy neutral here. But Denti's not afraid. Denti's not afraid. He just gets that up smash at him and he's currently up a stock ahead. But again, Cheeks is not far behind. Ah. There it is. He raised the tech there and he's going to get an up smash. Yeah, I don't know what tech option that doesn't cover there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That even might have covered tech away. I think that would have, yeah, because of the ledge was so close. Yeah, I don't know. The, the have to tech in. timing was a little bit weird. No, even Tech and I'm pretty sure that would have caught. Oh, know. wow. Yeah, Lucina's got a ridiculous F smash range. But yeah, right now, Denti's played this stock really solidly here. Taking up a lot of percent on Sheik's. He's not afraid anymore. All right. The Gonna crab. get the throw. No, wait, wait out uh, right. Sheik's options here. Playing patient, throwing out the Pikmin. <laughs> Monique uh, here, just doing her work. She, she caught that entire down tilt. <laughs> All right. Can have Back recovery mix up stage. All right. Oh, Cheeks trying to go off stage, uh, which is a rare occurrence, and then gets caught by a purple. All right. I mean, saying like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you, you go get back on stage. <laughs> yeah. You stick to your territory. 104 on Denti right now. Ooh, Cheeks Nair. Definitely... Second hit could have caught, but not there. A lot of F tilts here from Cheeks. Loves that range. And loves the control it provides him. Ooh, tries to get a read there and run up upside. Okay, punishes with an up out of shield. It's going to take the stock. Up is a pretty decent kill option. Yeah, considering it's also invincible on frame four, or invulnerable, excuse oh, me. It's the semantics, but... I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good out of shield option. So... Okay. Going to kill that Pikmin with two down tilts. Yeah, we got an F tilt. Killing the Pikmin is so good. I mean, forcing Ooh. them to have to plug and get different pigments. Oh, wow. Pigments. Catching the jump over with an up smash is going to take that stock on Sheiks. Denti's only 58.6% behind, but Sheiks does have the advantage currently. We got a ton of pummels. Yeah, Sheiks is a big believer in pummeling. DFW, don't pummel no more. And, uh, oh, we got a down tilt. No trip, though. Get punished to shield grab. We ain't tripping out here. And then. Uh, that's a I lot of damage. Uh, that was a white pigment, too. Oh, oh raise the roll Lord. with a down smash. Okay, down so fair. We got percents equal now. All right, LP's early, so it doesn't give Denti the opportunity to continue his edge guard. All right, we got a back here. Throwing him back off stage here. What's the option from Cheeks? He does love him staying on stage usually, but that doesn't oh. seem to work <laughs> as well against all of our super slippery smaller character here. Killing the yellow. Ooh, this is terrifying. Uh oh, he does kill the blue. That's pretty good. Can't get grabbed right now. High percent here. This is risky play from both uh -oh. players here. Oh, goes off stage, tries to go for Dolphin Slash. Does it get The down smash on the purple is going to take it. Denti takes the first game here in Grand Finals of Redline 142. And keep in mind, Denti is on loser's side, so he's going to have a long hill to climb. This is going to be a, a long, mentally exhausting set yeah. or two for both of these oh, players. Boy. And for us, too. Hey, they don't care about us. <laughs> We're just commentators, man. We get a we get a water bottle every now and then. We keep moving.
Hey man, honestly, that's more than the top players get. Oh well, okay, they do get paid. <laughs> they well, get yeah, money. they get you know. <laughs> yeah, they're making that bank up at top three. They, but, um, they, well, <laughs> they get a lot more than us, actually. <laughs> These, <laughs> wow, uh, <laughs> we got a bag we, of funnies. <laughs> that's true. We got funnies that we refuse to eat to uh, better so, our own images and Twitch chat. So honestly, I don't even know who's the real winner out here. But we try and we comment. Probably trying. not us. Yeah. Probably not us. We be trying. At least we have the mics. At least we got our lips flapping here, giving out we, quality content here to you guys at Twitch chat. I hope you guys are enjoying what we've got here to put out tonight. And if you guys have any sort of feedback you'd like to get, uh, hit us up with, whenever the title card switches back to our face, so we got our Twitters on there. You guys can contact us. Let us know what you guys think. We'll always be here. We'll always get our ears open and try to improve and better ourselves. So thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, make sure you tweet at me and tell me why, why my commentary sucks. <laughs> I, I always make sure to say that. I always make sure to say that. Likewise. Love to hear it. We should go on strike one day. Just be should like, we? You know, <laughs> no! <laughs> just like, you know, we, we probably deserve just a little bit more. Like pay our entry fee or something. We get ten dollars yeah. store credit since yeah. when? And since uh, forever. They just I, we never I've know never about this. Received this. Yeah, but last week I was here. And I just asked for something. I, okay. I commentate for everything, man. I, I actually stay on the mic the entire time, so I'm kind of. Okay, a red line usually. All right, all right, all right. We're getting into the set. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get to that later. But I mean, <laughs> getting a good back here. Even game so far. Ooh, goes low. Got some cash the recovery option, though. Ooh, there's an F smash. Yeah, that's going to be the purple taking that stock. Denty out here. Three stock. Oh, there's a punish and I'll be on a shield. Oh, he's going off and heading back on stage where he belongs. Ooh. All right. There's a down, down throw. throw. Oh, we got a, yeah. a Pikmin thrown out there. Oh, uppies. There's going to be a punish one up here. There we go. The okay. Oh, smash. back air punish. Safe. Very close to the edge, but not quite. He went really deep, but that's just going to cover the other side of stage. <laughs> I mean, Lamar's <laughs> got that right. Oh, wow. Jab, jab, jab what a down smash. Are we playing Smash 4? We got Hello? Jab confirms. Wow. That wasn't a confirm. He put up shield in between. But. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> if that's going to be the mix up, then. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cheeks is about 53% behind currently. Uh, but we got a down throw. And we're waiting on platforms. Lucina loves platforms. Okay. Getting Ooh. a lot of good damage. The second stock here. Oh, amazing movie. Got the scoop hitbox of downer. Doesn't get a follow-up, but gets another downer. Afterwards, into a grab. Falling up air. Good stuff. Cheeks has amazing movement. Amazing player on platforms with his sword. Huge disjoints allows him to like, maneuver and weave through platforms. And put on a lot of shield pressure. It's crazy good stuff. Absolutely. And I mean, Cheeks is bringing this game back. 92% from Denti. Ooh, hit off stage here. Cheeks still does have the disadvantage. She does air dodge. Oh, she gets a nice tech, though. Wow. All right. That should have been an edge guard, but no. Oh, okay, there's a back throw. Yeah, it is a yellow, though. He didn't get the right Pikmin pull. Oh, parries the um, wow, uh, up behind a shield and the throw right. him up. So he had the blue to grab him. That was excellent play from Denti. Oh my there's goodness. There's a back throw. From off stage. Okay, we are down tilt. Okay. All right. Okay, gotta get him attack. Run up, oh, try stop me. Run up shield. I'm loving the smash four neutral. <laughs> All right. The forward smashes. Pretty decent neutral option. Oh, there's a backer catch. Almost took him to the edge of the blast zone, but not quite. He'll live in. And he's still yeah. lacking a percent. Okay, this is going to be fair, and that's going to take the stock. Cheeks is 58.1% behind currently, but this is not a disadvantage that's like too far ahead where he can't take it. However, that white pick was going to stack up tons of damage, and now he's sitting at 90% just after a couple of ticks. I mean, it's like, crazy. yeah, if you're going to if you're gonna take, like, six, you know, 5% hits from a white pick, man, that's, that's going to be a little bad. Okay. All right. Not quite sending out, but still good damage. 123 on Cheese right now. This is kill percent. Oh, there's an up smash, and that's going to take it. Denti is currently up 2-0, even if he is from loser side here in Grand Finals. But he's looking pretty strong right now. Cheese is having a little bit more trouble dealing with the Olimar this time around. So let's see what adaptations Cheeks can make here, or even maybe possibly character switch, although I'm not expecting it. Still technically an option. Uh, I'm really Cheeks curious up. on why he doesn't go Krom in this matchup. You know... 
that's, that's a good question. To ask him because he has like faster speed. He has like faster hitboxes. I, I'm just really curious to know why. I, I really can't think of a reason, but maybe it's the the frame four out of shield. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to ask him. But I mean, coming to game three, potential reset right now. He's on Dr. Mario right now, which really threw me off. I think he's thinking about the swap. If I were Cheeks, I would probably stay Lucina this set. And then maybe switch over to Chrom. And then potentially switch over to Chrom if Denti resets. But HMO Curse, you never know. Or no. You never know. Three, two, one, go! Go okay, we're going to Kalos here, yeah. Which could potentially be the last game of the set, depending, or rather, this portion of the grand final set, depending on how well uh, both players play here. Yeah, might get to grand finals plus. Ooh, Ooh yeah. I'll be able to shield punish on the up smash. Yeah, up smash is minus eight. But I mean, we got, got a jab a one two. He's gonna grab there. Did you percent on Tenti? Ooh. Oh yeah. All up right. Up first. Ooh, falls out of the dash tag. That could have been something bigger from Denti, but fortunately. All right. Getting a lot of the stage control we, right We now. got the percent sleep pretty much equalized. Denti does actually have an advantage here. This is looking pretty rough for Cheeks. There's a throw. Yeah. We're going back throw. And getting him at ledge. Good stage. Ooh, try to go for an up smash. Through. Okay, we got a Dancing Blade. Downwards variation. All right. Good Great damage right now. Up there. Ooh, Ooh fair. Going out purple, air dodging, mid recovery. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, F smash by a yellow, still living. She's barely living. Okay, gonna get fared by yellow, and that's gonna take it. Denti's only at 79.9%. She's gonna have to rack up a bit more percent unless he goes for super hard, like F smash read, which he hasn't been going for at all. That's nice, though. Nice follow through uh, close to um, off stage and get the back air kill there. That was an excellent edge card from Cheeks. I mean, I mean, I was about to say, like, hey, this is kind of a different Denti from winner, uh, winner's finals. I mean, he's definitely. Right playing for stage control a little bit better. He's playing the matchup a little bit better, but I mean, Cheeks, nothing has changed. He's still good at the matchup, still good. Okay, gonna take a lot of percent. He All took right, nine from like, time. barely losing neutral. <laughs> yeah, with Pikmin, it's kinda hard to tell who's really winning with losing neutral, depending on how many Pikmin you have at one time. It's, it's crazy. Like, winning yeah. neutral just looks different for this character. <laughs> He does have two yellows and a purple out though. I mean, this is this is good for hit shield pressure. I mean, the electric. Yeah. Oh my God! Almost broke Lucina's shield right there. I wonder if there was a faster option he could have picked there. Oh, oh upwards. This should be all right. This is up. He had a shield. Okay, Ooh. got caught by a purple. Now he has to stay back on stage. All right, try to get on the back here. Only has a yellow left. I mean, Cheeks only at 70 though. Denti looking a little bit worse. He's going winners. deep, getting a fair. Can recover. Oh, yeah, another that's fair. Gonna that's going to take the stock. Good offstage gameplay from Cheeks there. He had the balls to go off and get the uh, edge guard there, and he, he was not afraid. Absolutely not scared at all. Yeah, one of the one of the better DFW players about edge guarding in the region. Wow, that sentence was super redundant. <laughs> uh, going to get the Dancing Blade damage. Commentator struggling out here. <laughs> all right, we got the uh, dash tag and a down smash. Okay. Doesn't a down Air follow through, barely out of grab range. That probably would have been a stock too, maybe. Oh, okay, you can clip my fair there. The blue is gonna die. He's gonna probably look for like a back air and up smash right now and get the stock. Oh, down tilts on the Pikmin. That took three down tilts to kill that Pikmin. Purples are strong boys. <laughs> Constantly rolling in. Once again, probably would have killed. Ooh, tries to call it the neutral get up, doesn't quite give it down to him. Down tilt. Okay, jumps away. Oh, gets caught there, and that's going to take the stop through. Denti's 103.7% behind, though. Cheese is looking pretty solid in this game. Okay. Pretty decently in his favor here. Offstage gameplay. Nope, no back here to take the stop, but close. Okay, F tilt, gonna miss. Denti can down. still easily take this game, considering how oppressive Ultimar's neutral is. I mean, just Ooh, not being. Yeah, the up smash up air. The percent is racking up. Denti is not necessarily all that far behind. He can rack up a lot of percent and get like a throw kill or a Pikmin kill. Like that, that could be. He's not too far. Definitely not too far. Yeah, each one of these neutral wins is like 5, 10%. And I mean, as long as Cheeks never does win neutral, like he's doing right now, already at 83. Oh, the white Pikmin. 
Same Fenty's time at 120. Oh, recovering high. How's okay? Cheeks is not able to punish there. Oh, up is that shield! Oh, oh that's gonna be the punish. He's gonna pull the Pikmin and throw out the purple. And Holy Denti cow. takes it 3-0 in the first set of grand finals. And now we are going to second set our grand finals. Wow! Wow! That Denti was a looking strong. Oh my goodness, that killed too. I'm pretty sure Cheeks was DIing for like an up smash. So, I mean, wow, that was an excellent game from Denti, pulling out that like over 100% comeback on that last stock there. Oh boy. Let's start going here in our second set of grand finals. Here's the reset, my friends. Here we are. We're going in. This is the ultimate rivalry. These guys have been playing uh, so often, and they're so cutthroat. Like, winner's finals itself was won by Cheeks. I believe it was 3-1. And now here we have Denti 3 0 Cheeks on the first set of grands. And now we're getting our second set of grands here. It's just, it's ridiculous. Last week we had a game okay, nine nice. grand finals. And who knows? Like, we could go up to a game eight grand finals here today. It's definitely possible. So let's see where uh, where life is going to take us, or rather, where these two magnificent players are going to take us. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, you know, the reset right now. Cheeks is probably up getting some water. Didn't see him, but I mean, this could very easily go into either player's favor. We could see a character swap from Cheeks. We could just see him uh, adapt a little bit. He's going to the bathroom right now. Let's see him. So, you know. Maybe icing out Denti just a little bit, you know, between sets. Think, all right, go to the bathroom, get the download, think about myself a little bit, think about life. Stabilizing himself and letting Denti also calm down from nerves, because nerves can also be a positive. Nerves can also definitely help you. You have the twitchy reactions, you play like crazy, and you end up having these things that work out. Like, I bet. Denti was absolutely like had those like adrenaline pumping when he's at 107 percent, and Cheeks came out at only one stock at zero percent, and somehow he brought it all the way back. Like that is adrenaline pump. Nerves don't always have to work against you. So giving that self time to calm down could also uh, push it in uh, further in Cheeks' favor here in this kind of like total reset here mentally in bracket everything. Just kind of cool it and see where this set's gonna take us. According to Burr, it looks like all of DFW is having great sets right now. At uh, Monday Night Melee, it was Puff Ices, which oh. is one of the most interactive matchups in Melee. <laughs> um, they were both holding forward and not camping each other out at all. So, <laughs> yes. Ooh, true story. Black Blue story. Yeah, so yet another interactive matchup. Uh, we have <laughs> all of my listeners. So, not going for the character switch. Oh, the yellow Pikmin was not on the same plane as the Olimar. Or starting PS2. Ooh, okay. Doesn't Damn. have enough Pikmin for that combo. I feel like oh. so much more has happened, but they're only at like really low percent. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, wow, they both had such meaningful neutral wins already, and then... Just kind of, it's more like clashing with Pikmin and nothing really happening. <laughs> Yeah. Nice side beat there to knock the two Pikmin away, not even getting uh, to allow the percent to rack up on him. Smart play here. Absolutely. 62% on Denti right now. Ooh, I'll be able to shoot after jab one and two. Oh, we've got a back throw. Going off stage. Turn around, grab yeah, him. We got pummeling. Get so we back here. Ooh, catch the tech with an F smash. It's like, you know what? You can catch my neutral techs, but I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna catch yours too. Oh, recovering high so he doesn't get spikes. Smart play there from uh, Cheeks to mix up his recovery. Very smart. Ooh, so uh, Denti jumps straight out of it so he doesn't get caught by the F smash after missing the tag. Gets that slide off. Yeah, there's a back here. Taking him far off stage. Cheeks is going for an edge guard here. Oh, it's gonna be up. Good, Good tech there from Denti, but he pressed up right after and Cheeks is able to catch him with a back here. So that stock is going to be Cheeks's. Yeah, he gets the tech jump, but uh... Not quite aware of where he was after the tech. Did you see that wave land? Hello? <laughs> oh, catch up with an F smash there. And that's All gonna right. be it. It's fairly even. Until get up attack, send. Get away. Get away from me. <laughs> get off me. All right. Catch up the roll away with the grab. Okay. We got Nairs, but we got an up smash. Falling dare. Ooh, punishing one. Dancing Blade there. Okay, this is not Dancing Blade. We like to see Cheeks go for the first two neutral hits into the last two uh, downwards hits. Seems to give the most damage. Gives the most damage and makes it connect the most That's reliably. Awesome. Right. Although upwards can connect pretty reliably as well. Uh, definitely doesn't give as much of an advantage because um, it doesn't stand very far vertically or horizontally and doesn't do as much damage. So I think downwards is definitely the smart option to go for here. Cheeks is, however, behind in percent here. Cla uh, pairing one Pikmin and clashing with another. 
Right. Oh, up in a shield. Okay, nice. Stop getting stage control. He's oh, getting caught by a purple, though. Getting caught by another purple. Throwing these purples out. Purple is ridiculous. Oh, tech back and roll, run all the way and get the grab to F throw here. It's going to be the offstage gameplay. He's just throwing purples to keep Cheeks at bay. Okay, nice jump and then catch him on his neutral getup with the back air. And yeah, and that's going to be the second stock taken from Denti. And Cheeks looking like he's playing this set better than the last one. I mean, Denti Ooh, was up throwing the blue. They're dead even right now. It's too soon to say what, uh, what player has the raw advantage right now. Absolutely. Ooh, misses the uh, all the side beat. It. Oh, okay. Makes it back. Jumps and up beat. Something in my heart <laughs> told me Cheeks was dead, but obviously it wasn't. <laughs> no, he's still but living. I mean, we living out here. Living and in advantage right now. Oh, going back to neutral. As soon as I say something, of course. A uh, 44% Denti. You know, uh, percent deficits don't mean anything to Denti, according yeah, to he's uh, like, I, Lasso. I, I can just rack up percent, and as long as I don't die, you will die. <laughs> I mean, just the threat of existing is uh, what Olimar does. I mean, just being able to endlessly pull small men at you and throw. <laughs> yeah. Small, angry, feisty, damaging men that can kill you. 105 for Dentsy right now. Takes only at 38. Oh, oh there's a grab. Okay, percent. It's cut. Ooh, That's parries that yellow Pikmin. Gets caught by the throw again. Oh, Dolphin Slash that. early, <laughs> yeah. I saw that downer coming out, but he Dolphin Smashed early. Dolphin Slashed early. Ooh, all right. Oh, right, we got pummels. pummels. We got Pummels out here. Dempsey taking a page out of Cheeks' book. Hey, you know what? Pummels are good. Oh, oh yeah, he didn't have ledge grab. He did not have ledge grab. It's smooth. He should go over down smash. Just as we saw again. Like, percent deficits aren't a huge deal to Denti. As long as he's living, he's hurting you. And eventually he will kill you. So you've got to kill him quick. Yeah. Killing your opponent so they don't kill you. Excellent strategy. Excellent strategy. And I mean, punishing the regrab with the down smash, another good strategy. I feel like Denti's Olimar, I feel like um, he implements a lot of these new things and in his gameplay, like game by game. Like, we haven't been seeing him go for a lot of these down smashes at ledge, which is a really good option for uh, Olimar. Generally seen with the yellows and the purples. And he finally punishes that re-grab from Cheeks, which we don't see all that often. But taking his time with the counter pick right now, not just running it back in. Saying, you know what, what went wrong with that game? What kind of things okay. do I want? Mm. Running it back to PS2. So far in this set, Cheeks has, is technically has been 4-0 to this point. Yeah. So this is crazy. If, if Dempsey can pull out the, the majestic 6-0, that would did, be something for the history books. But we'll Dempsey, see. Too early, to, too early to tell. We don't know yet. Did Dempsey win the first game in the winner's final set? I cannot remember. No, he, lo he lost game one, won game two. So, I mean, Dempsey with a whole lot of momentum right now. Okay, down throw. I mean, to be fair, he's barely clutching these games out. It's yeah, not yeah, like it's not like it's a sweep, means. yeah. You can look at the 4-0 and be like, oh, well, Denti's destroying Cheeks, but that's just not the truth of the matter at all. Like, these have been very tight games, very tight sets, like, generally leading to last stock, high percent situations. And it's it just like happens the, that Denti's been clutching them out, just barely. It's the softest 4-0 I've ever seen in my life, honestly. <laughs> but, I mean, Denti definitely does have the download now and is playing very well. Or his cheeks is still oh, on like that stacking level that one. percent. Ooh, Ooh, down got the downer spike. Oh, catch him with a Pikmin F smash. That's going to take it. Denti's only 82.1%. Again, Denti's got percent, but he doesn't care because he will put percent on his opponent. All right, dropping shield a little bit too early. Getting caught by the dancing blade. Oh, chasing the roll away once again. Okay, we got yellow stacking some percent there. And the spot dodge into a red up smash into a purple up smash. I feel like Denti, or excuse me, Cheeks could be punishing these up smashes. I mean, red is minus 12. So, I mean. Oh, Nair 2 is going to take that. Cheeks, it did not take a whole lot of percent there in a disadvantage stock. So, that's really nice. Uh, I think it's going to work out. But per White Pig was going to rack up a lot of percent there. Now he's at 22. But Huge Sword's going to hurt Denti a lot as well. They're about even currently. All right, five minutes and 30 seconds left. I mean, I don't expect this to go to time, but. You know, Always the, the slow pace of the game really being... I mean, I feel like um, something I said in set one. Oh, catching Ooh. him with I the mean, Dolphin Slash State Spike, but Almar does have pretty solid recovery, so he was able to make it bad. 
something I said in set one was, uh, you know, Dentu was really playing at Cheeks' pace, uh, his tempo throughout the entire set. And I feel like that's uh, uh, the opposite is true on this set. I mean, like, Cheeks is really just playing to, like, Denti's strength. strength. Yeah. And Sheik's is struggling to kind of get those opportunities where he does best. And that's why Denti's been able to just get a, 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 be a full roll up here in his grand finals so far. Ooh. Nice shield on the upside here. Up he had a shield. Very nice uh, option there from Sheik's. Going off stage, trying to catch him. Ooh, recovers. But um, Denti opts Ooh. to pick Pikmin out instead of punishing immediately. I don't think he had any left. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, Oh, only goes for a couple hits of Dancing Blade. Spot Dodgers gets a down smash. Then he's about 20% behind, more like 19. I mean, both at kill percents all things considered. Ooh, spiked hit of down air. From up in the air. Okay, we're gonna get a dashing F tilt, and that's gonna take the stock. All right, and Sheik's also at 109. Oh, I mean, all right. A very dangerous position. Honestly, a blue reds. grab. Next Pikmin pull is blue. We're, right now, we're just throwing out everything he's got so far. Oh, wow. Nice 40%. swim string there from uh, Sheiks. Yeah. 44 and 4%. Okay, we got a grab. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Yellow uh, smash going to clink with the F tilt. All right. There's the blue. We cannot get grabbed right now. Ooh. Yeah, Denti goes for that jab instead of the grab, and I feel like that honestly cost him. He's taking a lot of percents for whiffing that right now. Okay. That's the purple out. Gonna recover right now. Ooh! Calls it out. Oh, that's gonna be an up throw. Blue up there, and that's gonna take the side. Again, Denti's been in this situation twice before in the set, and uh, both times have ultimately worked out in his favor. So let's see if uh, Cheeks is been able is able to be more commanding and take the stock or if he's just going to get percent racked up again by all the pikmin and allow cheeks oh the chat does to do whatever he wants get yeah, the timing yeah. for the up smash though just a like a one or two frames away oh gets the down tilt catches the no tech and down smashes but it isn't enough to take the stock there's an f tilt at ledge i mean and until you kill the olimarn the olimarn gonna try to kill you has there's an up smash there oh it gets a dashing up tilt and that's actually gonna take it and that's gonna be cheeks's first game here in this grand final set currently 1-1 in the second set of grand finals oh boy we're in for a long one all right uh, these guys are taking all the way to game three or uh, last stock like high percent we're, we're playing the full extent of these matches it's it's ridiculous my goodness, Denti playing so well with the strengths of the Pikmin. Blue, you know, being the ones for grabs, grabs, and uh, whites. The they have, they both have uh, multipliers on their attacks themselves, like the fair and up smash. They both have right. multipliers like that. But okay. white Pikmin are better when thrown, and blue Pikmin are better in grab situations and stuff like that. And like each little Pikmin has like a multiplier on their own. And, uh, yeah, Denti playing very well with those strings. Denti has been an all in running main in past games. Pulling out the Pokemon Trainer. But, I mean, I, yeah, the all is coming back. What is Cheeks' adaptation? He did win with the Lucene in the last game. But, I mean, I mean, actually, that was actually a pretty not close game. He, it was a hard one star. Like he was at low percents. So Fizzy Pop did just drop in a uh, Twitch chat that we are actually eighth on Twitch right now for I assume Super Smash Bros. For some of these, those of you guys just hey. tuning in, here we are here at Redline Ultimate 142 in Denton, Texas, um, and this is our grand final second set for our two players here, Cheeks versus Denty. Uh, currently won one the second set. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of this set. So here we are running into into this set. We have or into this game rather, game three here in the second set. Uh, we got Denty pulling out an advantage here again. Pick stacking damage always a, a quick way to just rack up percent yeah especially as i said those white pigmen they do like 4.85 per tick each time so i mean if you if you get one of those latched on you it's gonna be a little bit rough and uh here we go she's gonna bring that percent back though he's got the sword confirms there we go down her spike hitbox into the back air okay catching the jump with the fair 
I mean, another ledge shop scenario. That's what Cheeks is known for. Yeah, being Cheeks able to go loves his ledge shop situations. He opts to just F tilt and put him back off stage and ledge trap again until he feels extremely confident in some sort of kill. Uh. There was a very solid up smash. Point the sword straight to the heavens as he took Denti's first stock here in the Girth game. And up smash, kind of a quirky little kill move because, I mean, it has hitboxes all around Lucina, which. Since Lucina doesn't have a tipper, it kills everywhere instead <laughs> right. of just at the tip. Exactly. So the Thundercats, so oh, gonna be a little bit better than Mars, so. Alright. And then yet another neutral interaction. Yeah, side B1 and 2 down tilts. Oh, oh wow. Okay, there's the a kill confirmed. After the missed tech. That's alright. 41% and climbing for Denti. He still has the advantage here. He's not too worried. I think he's been playing really solidly here. Ooh, jab 1-2, gonna send him out once again. And I mean, Cheeks is fine keeping uh, Denti at ledge. Does not be out of shield. 88%. Oh, gets caught by another Pikmin. Okay, we got up air strings here. Rocking up that percent. Again, Denti does not worry too much about it. He'll just play his safe game and try to get Pikmin racked up. Ooh. Purple is... Okay. Air just faster grab. Oh, Ooh, down spike hitbox. Does oh. it go for the up air there? Just kind of jumps instead. I think he no was trying it. to call out an air dodge, but I mean, Denti didn't give it to him. He just didn't hit a button. Uh, so didn't hit a button. Oh, that fair with the messed up DI is going to take that stock. Now, Cheeks is up again here in uh, a stock and fi only got 58% on his second stock. Yeah, I mean, relatively mid percents, and that's pretty good position to be in this grand set game three. Ooh. Tries to call it the neutral get up. Denti doesn't even give it to him. 90% on cheeks. Ooh, okay, we got a blue F smash. Ooh, oh, that might be it. there's the air dodge. Doesn't have a jump though, so he's gonna have to take that. Tensi's equalized this, only got 5% on his last dog here. Yeah, that was a good snipe with the, the purple pigment there, evening Ooh. up the game. Good. Nice. twice. Okay, still gets up air and up tilt confirms afterwards though. Cheeks is looking pretty strong here. Okay, Ooh, Bates out the up big punish. and gets punished here. Yes, damage. Lots of damage coming out here from Denti. Oh, ridiculous amounts of, of strong oh reads here. This chain, this string was ridiculous. Yeah, there was so many mix-ups in that single string. And Denti had all the right reads there, all the right guesses. Or you could call it incredible condition. Yeah, and I mean, Denti bringing this game back pretty hard. That was like 110 off of like one advantage state. That was kind of ridiculous. He's gonna have to work really hard to bring the percent back in his favor. Okay, he went off stage and just jump, kind of jumps back. Okay, catch the jump with the back here. That's good. Yeah. Racking up percent here on Denti. Yeah, no not more Pikmin though. Not too far behind. Yeah, not white. Not gonna help him kill very early at all. But uh, yeah, that purple and the red though. That's gonna be. Ooh, that's more. forward smash. Just the tip right there. Ooh, okay, catch it with good the fair on stage. Good tech though. Then he's gonna tech that. Okay, we're gonna have tilt. This is now, last hit game uh, three. Uh, tables have turned. I mean, Cheeks has even oh, goes to the back of an F smash there. Did that and that's poke? That might have poked. The is not oh. Poor Alamar. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know if Denti like tried to spot dodge or oh. something, but I don't know. With the f face he made afterwards, he was like, "Come on, oh, man." What was that? Yeah. I don't know. That that was kind of weird. Definitely. Did, did Denti say it shield poked? Yeah, that's what shield poking is, Alex. <laughs> yes, oh, but it wasn't wow. cool. He got hit by... Yeah. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So it was a really unfortunate shield poke. So 100% shield poke there. Ish. With the F smash, which lost him the set. Yeah. Or lost him the game, game, anyway. Shield poke. It's an Olimar issue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that makes sense. that's very lame. That sucks. That That's lame. something they have to deal with as a character. But lame. Game is what it is. This is the game we choose to play. We love it. As long as you don't pick for buffs on Twitter, right? <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, we're heading into game four now. <laughs> Anywho, we have uh, Cheeks up 2-1 uh, currently in the second set of grand finals here. So Cheeks is definitely making the adaptation he needs because he did get 3-0 in the first set. So he's not as afraid. He's been playing a lot smarter here. Yeah, the, I mean, this is tournament point for Cheeks. And Denti, strong start, but hasn't won a game since the 4-0 row he won earlier on. 
though. This is oh, oh he tries he had to do the up smash. He just up smashed a little too early there. He didn't believe in it hard enough. He didn't believe. Oh, all right. There's a uh, red Pikmin F smash there. Purple yeah, Pikmin thrown. Okay, another red Pikmin F smash. Not quite getting anything. Ooh, the okay, catch him with an F smash there. I'm gonna kill from across stage. All right, what's the ledge trap? Oh! Caught him with the up smash there. That's gonna take that first stock. Cheeks is currently up, but he has 106.1%, so a purple F smash would probably take it. Or a blue even, a blue throw up throw could be close-ish in percent pretty soon. There's a red F smash. Not quite gonna take him yet. But close, very close. Absolutely. Oh, oh parry! We'll parry it. All right, armor's through with the whistle. I love oh, that. I, that's like one of my favorite kind of uh, things in the game is the the Olimar super whistle armor with the whistle. Uh, that's cool. Okay, throws out the yellow. Not gonna kill from across stage. Kalos, one of the bigger blast zones in the game. Yeah, Cheeks doing a really good job of living this dog. I mean, he really doesn't even care about this damage. 185, you're dead to the grab anyway. Oh, that, that's gonna be it, yep. All right, Dante's only 60% behind, though. Something that could be taken care of fairly quickly, as <laughs> was shown, <laughs> demonstrated right here. So, that's just kind of how it be sometimes. Up smash to up smash to the, uh, up, up air. air. What yeah. a combo. What a combo. And that got him up to 56%. Yeah, right, and I mean, that next advantage save with the Pikmin attached to him did <laughs> so <laughs> much damage. He got like Ooh, five right ticks. with the down smash there. All right, All right, she's gonna have to recover. He's at 121% right now, 40% behind Denti currently. Caught yeah. by another yellow thrown out. He lost two advantage states, and now he's at 130. So, <laughs> yikes. That's okay. the game we play. There's an tilt. Oh, tries to go for this, man. Oh, this is a blue to throw, throw, too. throw. That, That's gonna be it. Denti's up here. Oh, reads the F smash. Okay. Okay, tries to go off, but uh, Denti recovers high. There's a throw. We got a purple. Here the chunky hits. Oh, he tries to go for an air one to up smash after the shield, but uh, Denti is going to hit him out of there. 135 for Denti right now. Oh, in jumps in. Precarious position. Okay. Ooh. All right, catch with the back. That's going to be all right. Sheiks is 72% behind. It's an uphill cl uh, hill to climb, but still definitely climbable, especially with a player like Sheiks. Absolutely. And we've seen percent deficit come back to this set before, so I mean. <laughs> yeah. Multiple times at that. Okay, we got the downwards variation of Dancing Blade. Down tilt, catch him at ledge there. Okay, catch him with the upper on his recovery. And are we going to get a game fast five? down here? Wow. He's about to take it. This is the, even, he's evened up the percents here. This is a long set. This is close. That's going to be a purple. No, no he's living. He's Jeez. living. Sheiks is living. He's made it back to ledge. It's not over yet, folks. Dead okay, there's a girl. Oh. oh. The DI, the DI mix up, and that took the game. We are indeed going to a game five. This is a game eight grand finals, my friends. We are here at Redline and Denti, Texas. Cheeks versus Denti. Denti 3 0s Cheeks in the first set of grand finals. When in winners' finals, Cheeks 3 1 Denti, and now here we are 2 2 in the second set of grand finals. This is our last game of the night, folks. Hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys are ready. Yeah, and we're going to see what the counter pick is. I mean, Denti doing a good job of closing that game out, and oh man, this is it. Let us know who you guys want to see, chat. I mean, this the is HMO it. boys are certainly rooting for Denti, and all the fug was here, so <laughs> <laughs> so they got the IRL spirit bomb. Yeah, uh. I mean, I don't see a lot of them here. I'm pretty sure they all want to go eat. So <laughs> oh, okay, well, in their hearts, they have uh, they have cheeks. All right, man. Cheeks thinking about this counter pick hard. Smashville is going to be the pick. I feel like this is kind of a good pick. Uh, and five. Omar. Going to Smashville. He's gonna have a lot. Man, taking center stage on Smashville is honestly busted. Having that <laughs> platform above you. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I'm sure Lucina would love the falling up airs into another like up to another up air, and just oh man, yeah, Lucina and uh, the way Cheeks weaves through platforms is just beautiful, and I'm sure he's gonna enjoy that middle platform in Smashville. Absolutely. Ooh, there we go. Uh, good right, dash away to avoid the, the grab. 20% yeah. already on Denti. The first neutral win goes to Cheeks. Okay. 
Do I have smash tags? <laughs> oh, okay, so all right. For second first, you were up at 52.5%. That's what one string will do to you if you're against an Olimar. You gotta be careful. Okay. Oh, he oh, calls that out, but I mean, outside. I think the extension off the Pikmin actually made it to where that uh, Reed didn't connect. Good damage, 68% for Cheeks right now. Ooh, okay, going deep, but uh, yeah, that just gonna make some of his recovery and head up on the other side. Oh, tries to call it the roll, doesn't give it to him. Alright. Okay, there's a downer. It slices all of those Pikmin away. <laughs> that was a massacre. Oh, whips the Tomahawk grab. Boy. Both players here, high percent. This is risky. They're both, both are in percent to lose their first stock. That's going to be a pink up smash, purple up smash rather, and that's going to take it. First stock here. Okay, Cheeks is just going to turn around and grab F throw off stage. And once again, stage control, name of the game in this matchup. If you can't, if you give Olimar room to run away from you and throw Pikmin at you, it's a really oh man, Cheeks went really deep there again. Denti's gonna mix up his recovery. I he's gonna put to him. <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. Oh, the block. He wants to kill confirm, but wow, Denti's racking up so much percent on Cheeks right now. He's getting the confirms he needs. Oh my goodness, this is looking really bad Pretty for Cheeks, Cheeks right, now. right now. Yeah, he has an entire stock deficit at this point. Oh my goodness, this is scary. Trip. Tries to get an up smash read, but instead of getting thrown, yeah, yeah, but the blue back throw is going to be it. Yeah, Denti's up two stocks right now in this grand final set. Sheiks is looking really, really rough right now. This is going to be a hard comeback, but yeah, it's still one. possible. Oh, absolutely. I the mean, game's not play. over until it's over, folks. So don't give up. The fair, not quite going to kill Olimar from across stage. Ooh, That's okay. not going to kill either. We're throwing out Pikmin, and we're recovering. Okay, we're recovering. There's going to be an F. Forward air punish, and that's going to take the stock. Okay, Sheik's an entire stock behind, plus 34.7% on his final stock. Um, but, I mean, yeah, lost uh, Denti is again. taking it. Yeah, it's taking damage here. Okay. okay. Oh, Falling up here. Dodge. Gets another grab. Ooh, uh -oh. tries to continue confirming, but Denti just interrupts with his own downer on the yellow Pikmin. Yeah, downer actually kind of a decent combo breaker. Okay. Yeah, oh. We get another grab. We're going off stage again. Cheeks loves to keep his opponents off stage, but Denti's been really good at recovering thus far, and hasn't been falling to Cheeks' off stage pressure as much. Especially since Denti's been able to keep the Pikmin up thrown out. Wow! Catch him with the neutral B. Okay, throwing Pikmin out, super and he's gonna up B up to the other side. Okay, makes another recovery. Okay, that's oh, enough. He had to pull Pikmin. He didn't have anything. Oh, there's an up, uh, sma up, up special rather. And yeah, he went to ledge. No punish from Denti there. Okay, this is a falling downer. All right, and Cheeks bring this game back pretty nicely. 120, the glancing blow. Ooh. Oh, okay, no. there's a throw. We got a back throw here. De Cheeks is at 112%. This is looking really rough. Okay, he's going to do a rising fair. Pull him off. The forward air off of ledge. Oh, that might just be what... Oh, tries to get a, a, an option up at ledge, but it still rolls into whatever Denti had. Ooh, oh, he's early. early one. That was really good. Really good play there from Denti, but Cheeks was just barely able to make it. Okay, he rolls oh, up the shield. Okay. They're just waiting. Oh, is that going to be it? And that uh, blue up throw is going to be it. Denti powers through here. 3 0 Cheeks in the first set of Grand Finals and taking this set 3-2. We had a great, a, a great Game 8 Finals here, folks, today. These guys played essentially th three best of five sets today. Cheeks wins the first one in Winners Finals, taking it 3-1 over Denti. But Denti's like, I can do this. Runs it all the way back through losers, right? Well, Absolutely. rather, no. I had to, had to run it through uh, LP uh, and losers yeah, through LP. and then uh, for our top three. And then gets the 3-0. Solid 3-0. Close, all were close games. Yeah, this is it not was to a discredit. Soft yeah. yeah, this is not to discredit how well Cheeks played because Cheeks did play well this set. No, it was always high, uh, high percent last stock situations. Like, shout out to both players for playing fantastic. But Denti takes it three two here. This is a long, grueling set. Both players gave it their all physically, mentally. All of the adaptations, all the mind games, all the execution here for hitting their confirms. And it was just a ridiculously awesome set here. Yeah, Last absolutely. week, we had Denti and Cheeks again in Grand Finals, and Cheeks took it. And now this week, we have Denti taking it here. And at, at the end of the day, Denti just came out the better player. Yeah, that I was mean, the win he wanted, and he, he fought for it, he earned it, and he got it today. These two play each other so much. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard not to have the download after one set. And I mean... 3-2 in the second set? It was close. It was close, but I mean, game game five, the last set, not, not so close, but...
Yeah, that was really rough for Cheeks. He just got his percent stacked up in that second stock there. And after that, Cheeks just had a lot of difficulty recovering from that deficit. And unfortunately for him, Denti was just able to capitalize over and over and consistently get that percent, get those conversions until it was over. That was it for him. He got Absolutely. it, and that was that was the game. That's it. But uh, we're going to pay some bills real quick. Uh, I know we have some graphics flashing. I don't know where those went, Mr. Mr. Stream people. I, I know what they <laughs> are. All right, we well, got the cru go. Crucible Arcade. Canadian coming up. That's going to happen in, I believe they said late November, November 30th. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's and that's going to happen pretty soon. Arcadians are always fun, you know. We also have Super Smash Odyssey here at, uh, also, I believe, at Source Gaming Lounge yes. on Friday. So, sorry, so Source Gaming is a fantastic uh, event. You can come here, uh, sign up, just pay a bit, and you can play all these consoles. we got a ton of games. We've got high end gaming PCs, and we've got a lot of community activities. You always got people you can come hang out with, engage with, play video games with a fantastic venue. You guys should definitely check it out if you're in the area. Absolutely. I'm really excited for this arcading coming up. Uh, it's going to be super fun for everyone involved. They're going to have like big brother doubles where you get a PR player and they're your doubles partner. No two PR uh, players are allowed oh, lots to be on of the double team. That's really cool. That's so, awesome. Yeah, a lot of fun I, events. I, I love end of the line because they always have the best side events. Like. Um, the singles bracket is always fun, but yeah. side events are really where it's at. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that can happen in side events. And I, I know you guys here weekly also just have like yeah. fun side events that you guys do. That's awesome. But yeah, I, I from what I've heard today, we've had a lot of viewers come by and stop by our stream today. Yes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the sets that we were able to kind of uh, commentate for you guys. I uh, hope you guys and enjoyed the you've been the on play. all night, haven't you? Yeah, first set to last oh night. I've been goodness. here the whole time. Oh my um, goodness. I've been having a great time. I love commentary. I do it for just, just the love of the game. You know, I just, I love the game. I love commentating. love talking about it love seeing what I can do. So I hope you guys enjoy my content. It's great. I hope you enjoyed mine too. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at sorry Scott 18. Okay. Add me on Twitter. Tell me why my commentary sucks. Uh, <laughs> do the sure same for me here. I'm combo FTC as you guys can see it right down there. Um, I, uh, I definitely can stand to improve as can everybody and I hope I can expand my horizons uh, and what places I can go and commentate at. But I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. As for the Funyuns, I will let you have those. <laughs> no, you've those been here kids. all night. I cannot, uh, I cannot I, take these. Well, I, I don't want to disrespect Funyuns, but I'm not, not quite the biggest fan. Oh, you're not a fan Yeah. Of okay. So I understand the sentiment. I very much thank you for it, but personally, I'm just, I would rather it not go to waste. So you can take the Funyuns. They're right. on here, my friend. I feel you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed what we had here tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic night. Again, I'm Combo. This is Cultus. Our Twitter tags are right here. You guys should definitely uh, follow up the other players that we've had here today as well. Yes. You got Jama, LP, you know, Simon, Cheeks, Denti. All these guys have got like some form of communication. You can hit them up on social media one way or another, Discord, Twitter. You'll find them somewhere. So you guys should definitely engage with them because these guys are great people. They're great players and you can do some, uh, you can meet up with them, uh, see them at tournaments, do whatever. Everyone's super nice here. DFW is a fantastic scene for Smash. I'm I loving it. Too. Hope you guys are loving it too. And uh, we'll definitely be back next week at Red Line 143. You guys have a fantastic night. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.